everyone. Have you ever thought about writing a book? We're spending a bit of time at home at the moment, so it's a perfect opportunity to write a book. You've heard the expression, inside everyone there is a book. Well, you might have years of experience in a certain industry, you might have some fascinating life stories. The question is, how do you do it? How do you get started? And today's guest is Andrew Jobling. Andrew is the best-selling author of seven books, including The Wellness Puzzle. And he's been on the show before talking about health and well-being. What you don't know is that Andrew has helped hundreds of people to write a book and launch it. Andrew can help you take the idea out of your head and convert it to a book on the shelf. Hi Andrew and welcome back to Over 50 So What? Great to have you back again. <laughs> and this time it's going to be something a bit different. Last time we were talking about wellness and health and now with your expertise as a best-selling author you're going to help explain to everybody how you get started as an author because you've helped hundreds of people to write a book. So there's people sitting at home now thinking, how do I do this? How do I get started? Carol, firstly, thank you for having me. Always good to be back on your show and talking to your wonderful audience. How do you get started? Well, I guess the first thing you've got to do is have a message or a story or something you want to write about. And I think that's the first step. The second step always that I, when I talk to aspiring authors and I work with a lot of them is what do you want the book to do? What result do you want the book? Do you want to entertain people? Do you want to inspire people? Do you want to sell lots of copies? Do you want to make lots of money? Do you want to open doors and opportunities and got to think about what, what's the end result? Then the third thing you've got to do is get started. And, and not overthink it and not doubt yourself and not worry about whether you're good or not, good enough or not and just get going. You've worked with a lot of people I know that are over 50, first time authors. What sort of topics are people writing about? In fact, most of the people I'm working with are probably in that stage of life where they've got some experience and they've got some wisdom and they want to share it. So people are writing about their experiences, they're writing about their overcoming challenges, they're writing memoirs, they're writing self-help stuff, some of them are writing fiction, some of them are writing stuff for kids that will help kids. So really, I mean, what, what you write about is, again, it's in your heart. And I would say if you're watching this and you've got something, a message or something you've learned in your life that you think is going to have an impact on people, that's what you build your book around. Now, I understand you mentor people right through the whole process, from the original idea to writing the book to getting it published. And then there's a couple of options when it comes to publishing. There's like a self-publishing or actually getting an established publisher. Can you explain to the viewers like that whole process and what the difference is at the publishing end? I will. And what I will say, Carol, is the end goal of what I'm doing with people is not to get published because that's the beginning as far as I'm concerned, because my, my whole attitude is not about the book. Um, you know, you're writing a book to have an impact on someone else. On, you, you write a book to change lives. So the whole process starts with a vision and a dream. And, a, and I guess, as I said earlier, I, I thought about what sort of impact do I want to have on the world? And with an idea of a book, there's a planning stage that needs to go into it to create a, a really good outline for the book. Then writing it is has challenges. And the biggest challenge will be your own self-doubt and your own self-belief and trying to perfect something before you've even written it. And, you know, so just getting into a routine of writing every day and allowing yourself to write badly and knowing that you'll improve it and it will get better until you've got a, a finished draft. And then obviously it needs to be edited and, and polished to the point where you're now ready to get it published. And then you need to decide, Carol, whether you want to self-publish or go for a traditional publisher. There's stories of success either way, but let me just tell you, both have their challenges. To self-publish means you pay for everything, you do everything. That's the effectively the definition of self-publishing. You do it yourself, everything. So 
if you're not sure what to do or you don't have the time or you don't have the resources or you or you're doubting that then i i don't necessarily think self-publishing is right for most people but the one thing about self-publishing you can do it quickly i mean if you've got the money and you've got someone you can work with to get it produced then you'll get a book out quicker but the question then is always what do you want to do with the book so remember it's not about the book now the reason i've always gone with a traditional publisher is because my vision is big i want to change the world i want someone to partner with me to take that book out to media and to television and radio and newspaper and magazine and distribute it into bookshops and and get it international and that's what you get with a traditional publisher it's a lot harder to find one of those because that you've got to submit and you've got to be strong enough and resilient enough to deal with rejection and you've got to be patient and once the book's published then the fun starts that's when the fun starts that's when you know you get to do book launches and you get to speak on radio and you get to do stuff like i'm doing with carol yeah it's not all just about the book like you said it's that everything that goes with it as a platform to leverage your message right across social media, right across the world, if, if that's what you're after, or could just be Australia. And you help people with the whole process, and that includes the marketing and the promotion and the launches and that at the other end. Well, yeah, absolutely, and I think any, any book coach that only helps you get published is not helping you at all, because you know what's the point of going through all that process to write a book and, and have a book if it doesn't go anywhere? That's not why you write the book. You know, it's not about the book. I mean, I never wrote a book because I wanted to say I'm an author. That's not why I did it. I wrote the book because I wanted to, number one, I wanted to impact people's lives. Number two, I wanted to uh, create some financial options for myself. And number three, I wanted to love my life. I had a very powerful vision of what I wanted. The book was just the key to unlock the door to allow me to live that. And if you have that really powerful vision, that would give you the motivation to actually put in the effort to write the book and that will help you get started and help you get going, just focusing on that vision. Totally. You, once, once it's in your heart, um, then there's no stopping. And I know when I decided to write my first book, it was the worst possible time. It was such an illogical, crazy decision. I had no background experience qualifications. I had no time. I had two businesses. One was failing miserably. I had to focus on other things, but in my head, I visualized what I wanted in my heart, the, the, desire was strong so there's no circumstances that will stop you from success when you know what you want and when you're willing to do what it takes to get there and not saying that it's difficult but it will take focus and would you know how old the oldest person is that you've ever helped to write a book like if there's someone watching in their 80s have you had anyone in that age group yeah, now who's in her 80s and she's just at the stage where she's starting to submit her manuscript to publishers and but most of the people I work with, as I said earlier, are, are over 50, uh, in their maybe 50s, 60s, maybe 70s, wanting to write or writing books because that's at that stage of life where, you know, if you're watching this and you're at, in that age, well, you've got wisdom, right? You've got a message. People that will be inspired by you long after you're gone, people will be inspired by you all around the world. That's the power of a, a book, and it's been such a wonderful wonderful thing in my life to know that i have an impact on lives of people i will never meet and people's lives that long after i'm gone and it all started with one simple decision illogical crazy decision to become an author and everything has changed in my life since that decision well andrew thank you so much for that i'm sure the viewers have a great overview now just how to do this whole process and now it's just up to them to get started so as a final comment to get them started what would you say stop overthinking it stop doubting yourself stop worrying whether you're good enough get started because the first step will lead you to the second step get into motion get into action and you'll find that with each step you take the more confidence you'll build the more belief you'll create in yourself and before you know it, you'll be a successfully published author excellent well thanks for being on the show we look forward to seeing you again soon if you'd like to know more about writing a book just drop us a note through facebook or through the website we'd love to hear from you go write that book watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe 
and we'll send you the latest TV episodes and videos. Like our Facebook page and please send us your comments, your stories and any inspiring people that you know. Over 50, so what?